Hello everyone and welcome to another hashtag webinar Wednesday where we will be looking at business intelligence for beginners. So the purpose of this webinar will be to assist you in effectively organizing your itineraries, components, um, day tours and preferred supplier products internally. So just to give you an idea as to the format of the webinar, I will be doing a short demonstration followed by a quick question and answer series. Due to the numbers in attendance, I do have you all on mute. So if you do have any questions and if they do pop up, please feel free to jot them down in the box and I will go through them in the end. If I don't manage to get through all the questions, I will personally respond to you via email straight after the webinar. So my name is Megan and I am an onboarding and training specialist. And then depending on the package that you have, some of the functionality that you may see will apply to you and some may not. So if you do need to get hold of us for any particular reason, here are our contact details and I will pause for some screenshots. All right, so let's get started. The first thing that we'll be, we will be talking about today is components. So components you will find inside of your itinerary builder just below where you create your itineraries. So we won't dive deep into this because there is a separate webinar on this topic. But basically, when you create components, these are specific sections of itineraries that you can save as pre-built parts of an itinerary. So for some of you, there will be certain activities or sections that will be the same for each and every client. For this reason, components allows you to build those sections and simply allow you to add them into itineraries as you go. The components are also great for pre-building routes such as your cruise routes, your mobile accommodation routes or complex itinerary sections that you always use. So you'll find this below your itineraries and if you do want more information on components there is a separate webinar that you can also refer to as well. So the second topic for business intelligence will be tags and labels. So tags and labels, you'll find it in your itineraries while you are building them. You should be able to find them on the last step of your builder. So tags and labels allow you to set up company-wide categories which you can then assign to a particular itinerary, component or day tour. These tags and labels can be anything based on the type of itinerary or tour that you build. For example, the family trips or soft drive trips or itineraries that you want to add to your website or to your catalog. Um, so these tags and labels will make your itineraries and components a lot more manageable. They are also used for internal purposes and they do not show up on any of your outputs. So to use tags and labels, all you'll need to do is first make sure that your itinerary is built and in the last step, you just click on it and assign the tag to it. In order to use it in your itineraries, you just save and you should be able to then search through all of your itineraries. You'll just need to click on the filter button and you can find your tags and labels at the bottom. So if we go through them individually, you should be able to find the itineraries with that tag assigned to it. You can just click on any of them and the ones with those tags assigned will then pop up. 
So this is great for your internal filing and in order to add or delete tags that you would need or the ones that you don't need, you can find this in your admin tab. So you'll just go to your admin tab and under the options section is where you'll find your itinerary tags. And these tags you can delete and add more tags at the bottom. So the default tags that you already have on your system, you can delete these and these can also be restored. The ones that you add manually afterwards, as soon as you delete them, they will be deleted um, permanently <laughs> unless you don't save. All right, so that um, that's your tags and labels and if you've never used tags and labels before now you know what the purpose of them is. So the next category would be how to search for an itinerary more effectively. This will again be in your itinerary builder under your edit section so either under edit personal itineraries or under edit sample itineraries. So of all the amazing itineraries that you've created, they can all be found inside the itinerary browser. So this is just another word for it. The itinerary browser is basically all the list of itineraries that you have. So the search and filter functions allow you to easily find the itinerary that you are looking for, as well as that amazing itinerary that you did three years ago, but you can't really remember the details. So you can use all the functions at the top. So you can either search by name or client or if it was done in a particular language, this reference number, if you've assigned a particular branding to it, as well as whether it was done in another consultant's account. If you click on all, you can view all of the itineraries created inside of the account. And you can also search by status. So searching by status only works if you've actually assigned a status to an itinerary. So if you do click on it, you will see that you can add these different statuses to your itineraries and then actually search, for example, all of your booked itineraries or all of your paid itineraries, etc. So those are the different ways in which you can search for an itinerary. And then the last and final item for today will be your supplier ratings. For those interested in supplier stats and usage within your account, you can have a look at the view supplier ratings, which you'll find on your dashboard. So just a few facts regarding the suppliers that you use. These are all the suppliers that have been used in your account only. You can find out things such as their content rating, when last the information has been updated, how many images the property has, if it's an enhanced listing or not. So that just basically means if the property has an eye brochure. And then as well as how many times you've used this property in an itinerary. And you can actually click on them and you'll see which properties you use the most. So which properties are your preferred suppliers. And you can also have a look at the content that the property has for this listing. All right. So that is the end of our webinar. I will take a quick break, just pause for some questions. So if you do have any questions regarding this topic, please feel free to send them my way and I will do my best to answer them.
Any questions? No. All right, at the at the stage it doesn't look like there are any questions. You all you all must be very fast learners. So well done for that. So that is the end of today's webinar. Hope that you enjoyed it and I hope that you have a wonderful day ahead. Thank you very much for attending.